guys welcome to my channel today we're going to be doing this morticia look and this is like my ultimate halloween costume i'm like literally obsessed with this anyway let's get into the tutorial today is like my ultimate halloween look and i've been waiting for literally years to do this because i wanted to do it right and i wanted to do it as a couple's costume and that's what i'm going to do today so well <clears throat> i have a partner now that can be gomez but i'm going to turn myself into morticia adams and i am so excited i have so much hair in right now i have 30 inches which honestly looks like 22 because i'm six feet tall so it really doesn't look that long but it is long i don't have my nails or anything on because i have like garters and like stocking like the whole works to put on so we're gonna do our face and then i'm gonna show you the finished look obviously so we are gonna get started i have some bones so i'm gonna clip back my hair with my creepy bones and we're gonna turn ourselves into morticia and i'm so freaking excited guys so i'm gonna be using some of the nyx marshmallow primer i love this primer so much it's just it's just a great primer it's just all around like not too fussy it's amazing and i always make sure to put it on my eyebrows too it just makes my brow product slide on so much smoother okay first things first i'm going to start with brows i did just shave my brows off camera you can tell i'm missing the tail end of both of my brows and that's okay so we're gonna fill them in with a makeup forever aqua resist brow i love this thing it's just the, a great color for me i'm in the shade 50 dark brown it's not too warm not too cool i prefer more of like a gray tone brow so this is great for me and we're just gonna angle up because i want everything to be very lifted and like i'm not really taking my morticia from a specific morticia i'm kind of just doing my own thing very like angelica houston but also bailey vanderveen you know what i'm saying so i am really angling my brows upward after all morticia is a witch so i want a very lifted spooky look to my brow and i'm gonna fill in and then carve out with concealer now i just have some makeup forever hd skin anti-crease concealer and i'm just carving this out A very stiff and lifted brow and I have the naked smoky palette here I'm gonna work a lot with this I'm gonna take the back in this palette and I'm just going to darken the tail just so it gives my face a more lifted appearance anytime something's darker it's gonna give you a lifted look so just a nice little ombre like just black right on the tail so I think anytime you look at a professional makeup versus an amateur makeup for lack of a better term you always see like fine details like that, like a little ombre in the brow that just gives it that extra little oomph. So, you know, this is Halloween makeup, but it translates to real life too. And honestly, if I still had that, oh God, remember that Kat Von D white concealer? I don't, wait, I honestly might have it. Oh, this guy. I mean, I wouldn't use this on myself because this is like literally from 2018. Ooh, she yeah she's turned i just like to save makeup products i just have like an arsenal of like vintage makeup here <laughs> i would use that for my brows which i might whiten or underneath my brow with a white cream because i do have my makeup prepper splash palette here but we'll see and again into that black just to make it super dark and super dramatic oh i love that brow gel i'm going to be using is the nyx the brow glue and this is in the shade 04 Five, which I'm assuming is black. Oh yeah, it literally says black on it. Bloody. I have the Herb Decay Primer Potion here. Now I am loading quite a bit of this on my upper and lower lids. I'm gonna be working with a lot of layering products because I am gonna be doing a cut crease. So I want this to be super duper well primed in order to handle all of that and as always whenever i put eyeshadow primer on or concealer over my eyelid which i did a little bit of both i'm going to set very well with powder this creates just a dry base for everything to go on my technique with eyeshadow is i like my base to be dry because then i can really like over blend some people like their base to be wet like if they use mac nearly paint pot or whatever i don't like that i feel like it's just more work and you have to be more tedious and strategic with your placement where if it's dry you could just blow it out and i love really like blown out makeup so powder it is at this point we're gonna dig into some tape so i've placed it a little bit lower than my lash line just so i can get a really high blend on that do i want it on 
this angle? Yeah, I do. Now into that Naked Smoky palette by Urban Decay. This is just, I love this palette for Halloween. This is my favorite Inglot blending brush. It's 6SS. This thing, oh, I've had this thing since 2015 and it has done me good. So I'm gonna dig into Password, which is just nice matte gray tone. And I'm going to blend this all over yonder into the tape here and then over into my crease. Now I'm gonna be doing a cut crease, so I'm gonna cut all this out. So I'm not really paying attention to the bottom of it, rather just the top and making sure that's really beautifully blended out. And see, when I have a dry eyelid, I feel like my blend is just so good. And now I'm gonna take the black and focus it right on the corner of my eyelid. I don't wanna to go too much up into this gray, but I just want it to be a little more deep and dark right in there and almost going on that third of my lid just to make my eyes go I'm just taking a shorter it's almost like a fluffy flat brush and I'm just kind of drawing on this angle from where my eye what's that thing called your pupil starts and going upward into that angle just so we have this super lifted gorgeous look I'm gonna dig into a different concealer. This is a matte concealer by Makeup Forever. I would use this one, but this one's a little bit thinner in consistency. It has so much pigment, but it's just thinner, and I don't want that on my eyelid. I want something thicker and heavier, just so I can prevent creasing. <sighs> We're gonna do a cut crease, honey. And I feel like I'm gonna do it right from the hollow of my eye here, and I'm just gonna naturally follow that. Is that what I wanna do? Well, it's too late now, that, that's what we're doing. All right, good. Just making sure to angle that down where my nose contour is gonna go as well. I'm just taking some black on a pencil brush and just capping this off and kind of blending into that cut crease with the black. Just so it, oh, that's looking good. I look like a drag queen and I love it. And now lather, lids repeat on the other side. Wish me luck. I can really tell I'm aging with my eyelids, you guys. I used to be able to do a cut crease like no one's business. Now to take my time. Well, I always had to like take my time a little bit, but now I'm like, oh Lord, <laughs> these puppies are getting loose. And I just want to make sure that the angles are kind of the same on both eyes. Ish, you know? And good reason I don't have my nails on yet is so I can blend this out with my fingers a little bit more with that pencil brush and I think we're ready to go in with a white on my lid I just been here sitting thinking and this eye started to water and that's what made me think I think I'm gonna put in some contacts I have so many from Pinky Paradise they always send me so many like it's unreal honestly like I'm so thankful that Pinky Paradise sends me stuff and I think I want my eyes to look more like gray all right I got these contacts in they're like a whitish gray almost like blue i think it's just more striking than my eyes honestly it's halloween let's do it right okay so for on my eyelid now i have this nyx glow shot ultimate glow shot and i'm using it in the shade da, 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 come through coconut 03 it's just a shimmery white pearl eye cream essentially and this is gonna go all on my eyelid like look at how beautiful that is oh stunning I don't know if you can tell, but this eye is having an allergic reaction right now and it keeps bleeding up and it's a little swollen. You can never predict when your eye is going to have a reaction. I'm using all the same products that I always do. I've used this before, no reaction. Who knows? Let's just say prayer for it. Because my eye is so watering right now, I was gonna do liquid liner, but I'm way too afraid to do that because I don't want it to bleed. So I'm taking this Shiseido Kajal Artist Ink. Love this thing and I'm just, popping this on my eyes. If my eye smartens up, I might go back in with liquid liner, but this will do for now. And I'm taking that same liner and going into my waterline. Ooh, okay, now I feel like it actually looks like spooky wooky. All right, so ripping the tape off, we're left with this extremely dramatic over the top dark eye. I love it. For my lashes, I'm gonna put on some YSL Lash Clash Mascara. Mash, cash, mash, cash. Okay, and then the lashes I'm gonna use are these matte black lash couture by Kiss, a 3D volume, and they're in the style. Ooh. 
Oh, matte velvet. They're just these huge, really spiky looking things. And I think that'll look just so gorgeous. And it says they're contact lens friendly, whatever that's supposed to be. All right, checking back in with you guys. That was an ordeal. I had to remove everything and put everything back on, like the white and my lash and everything. Waiting for it to dry. Hopefully it'll be okay. Let's move on to our face. I'm gonna be using the Dermablend Flawless Creator for my foundation. It's just super light, super full coverage. And I love it. So we're gonna use this. Whoa, there's a, my cat's hair in it. And as always, I'm using a beauty blender because it's my favorite. And I'm carefully blending this into my hairline, trying not to get it on my jet black hair. And I'm really blending that down my neck because the dress I am wearing goes whoop, like my boobs are out tonight. You'll see. And now back using that Makeup Forever concealer, just to conceal under my eyes. Me eyes, oh my god, I can't talk. And then I'm gonna highlight with white. So into the Makeup Forever flash palette, I dug around the pink that was in there. I got some white here, and I'm just gonna highlight my under eyes with this. You know in the movie she has like a super highlighted under eye? She's like lit, specifically. I don't want it to super look like too intense like that, but I do want myself to look important. I do think it's so funny when I'm trying to highlight because I'm so fair that this just like literally doesn't even look white. <laughs> now I have my favorite Shiseido Synchro Skin Powder here and I'm just gonna powder the shit out of this because it is a cream. I do not want this to be creasing. I do not want it to be moving. Whatever's residual on that blending brush, I'm just gonna drag it down my nose was this black or was this gray i think i put black on here whoops oh well give myself a nice little teeny tiny spooky witch nose my favorite palette to contour really any halloween look is this mayron one this is something i will always dig out i love mixing the gray and brown together to create a beautiful stunning just like spooky contour so i'm just packing the two in my brush just to get a Nice cool tone, but not too gray contour. There we go. And I'm gonna start with my forehead. I'm going to connect these eyes with this contour up here and make me just look super spooky. And I'm just like over blending. Like I love like a seamless blend like that. Now for my cheekbones, same thing, but I'm gonna go pretty high on this just because I'm not gonna be adding blush on. Oh, perfect. I'm just going in and adding some hollows on my neck. Just to make me look deathly and spookalicious and underneath my jaw. And you know what? I have this Too Faced blush. I'm just adding a tiny bit at the top here. Just because, you know, she it's like femme still. So I want her to have just like a little bit more there. Taking this glow shot and popping that right in the center of my nose. I've also put it underneath my brow there, just to give me a little pop. I'm gonna highlight with this on my cheek as well. It's just like so white and so shiny. Now for my lips, I have a Maybelline Lip Final. This is in the shade 50 Wicked. This is just like the perfect blood red. Now I do have two lip liners. I don't think I wanna go purple just because she authentically has just red lips. So I do have a brown, I just, want to overdraw my lips a tiny little bit with a brown and this is the makeup forever artist pencil in 608 limitless brown you can tell i love it because it's a nub i just think that'll give it the little dimension that i want and that i need and this lip is so beautiful I have to have my mirror here because, oh yeah, I have to cover this too. I put extra glue there, so bear with me. And I am just drawing over top of that lip liner. Okay guys, here is the finished look. I've put on everything. I have little swords and my earrings and some jewelry. Um, I'm gonna put this on my ring finger. 
actually I don't have my nails on because I have to do my boyfriend's hair but this is my Morticia look and I feel like it is just fabulous and everything that I wanted it to be and my boobs are like out like ha 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 also try to tape double D's doesn't really work but we tried anyway I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video bye guys